Hello and welcome everybody, it's me Daily Boy Nids and this is my Let's Play. Okay guys, we are on episode 15. Episode 15. We're gonna have to have a drink of water. I don't know why I didn't do this before we started. One sec. And the gulp of love. Oh yeah. Okay, episode 15 guys. I've actually just recorded episode 15 and you've just missed it. It was brilliant. <laughs> it was not brilliant, um, but I hadn't pressed record. Yay! I was being silly. I've just double checked it. I've double, double, treble checked it this time. We are definitely recording it this this one round, and which is lucky. This is one of the major reasons as well why um, we couldn't go to the is it the Iron Man mode uh, because we basically would have just missed all what I've just done for the last thirty minutes. But instead, what we're going to do is basically repeat it now. I'm going to have to try and remember what I said in the last one, um, because we'll definitely miss out. One thing that I have noticed is that this little icon has changed for Colonia. That was in red last time around, um, and that has definitely changed over. But interestingly, it's still Marwan the Old who's in power there. Now, what I did in the last game, uh, yeah, it was this thing here, wasn't it? Uh, what I did in the last game, and what I'm going to do again in this one, is we now have 303 gold. And therefore, I am going to attempt to take Colonia. Um, Colonia's army is just outside the gates, 579 men. Um, they are part of this law at war here, uh, which Durban and the guys on this side, I don't know what they're called, I'll find out later. Uh, and the guys on that side, they are part of that war, they've joined in. Um, which is good for us. If we bring up some mercenaries here, we can take out their main army, which will then give us basically a free reign at Colonia. Now, it's unlikely that... When they call in their two allies, and listen to this bit, guys, two allies. That's important, because I'll see if the same happens again, what happened in the last game. Um, and I'll tell you that anyway in a moment. But their two allies both sit inside this Durban zone. So, um, the Strapiti, Satrapi of Durban, the whole thing. But they're involved in this war, and this war is only 7% of the way through. Uh, wrong button there. I will show you. I can't show you. What's going on? Why can't I show you the war score? Leave it over. Leave it over. Leave it. There you go. Seven percent of the way through. Uh, so they've got these guys as an ally, and they've also got uh, this guy as an ally. So this one section right there. There's nobody else. Regard one solitary section. I will show you this again for this guy. One solitary section, nothing else. What happened in my last Let's Play is I basically bring in a, or brought in a group of people. Uh, we happily took out these. We happily got to Colonia, and then all of a sudden, oh, oh, all of a sudden they had this uh, little formation going on. And these came up with 2,000 men and just rinsed me. So, we're going to do the exact same again. So, the first thing we're going to do here is pull up the mercenaries there is one mercenary layer that we can afford here it is the Braslav Braslav mercenary band Bulgarian band so we're gonna bring these in and while they're just um, increasing up their morale hopefully these guys will sit where they are they didn't they kept faffing about just like this but if we move to Taron uh, to Tiao they should sort of sit still sit still Oh, they're not going to now, are they? They're going to be buggers. So, yeah, so they're going to just sit still. So, basically, we'll just have these marching around. We just want, we just need their morale to go up to the top. As soon as it does, we'll aim to take out this army here. And once we took them out, we can just swoop round and take out Colonia. Now, at what point are these going to try and rinse? See, they've still only got two allies. Still two allies. I don't know where that third ally set came from in the last one. All I know is that it snipered me. It snipered the hell out of me, and I was not happy. Believe it, there was a lot of swearing. There was. So hopefully they'll stop again. There they go. Now what they actually did on this one, which was a bit weird, they actually started coming into Theodopolis. And we stopped it on the 6th of January. They was due to get in on the 8th of January. Are they going to do it again? Exactly the same. 8th of January. That's that's pretty interesting. 
Um, but we pulled it up on the 6th and declared war. So what we're going to do... On the 7th, pause, on the 7th. Now the reason why I wanted to make sure that was dead on the 7th there is... In the vanilla game, at the very... It, normally in the vanilla game, basically, what we can't do is have our men in an area where their army is. Even mercenaries. However... Uh, we can still declare war with mercenaries out. We just can't declare war with our own army out. Now, one of the best ways of doing this is basically, if you're trying to chase an army around the map, is if you can basically aim at them within a day or something daft like that. Basically, if there's one day left, then you will catch them. So, like for this, for instance, they can't stop their walking now until the 8th, but on the 8th, they'll be in Theodopolopolis. So if we declare war on Colonia right now, oh, they've got the third, they've got their third guys in. Here he is. Ah, oh, you fucking bastards. So yeah, so the idea then would be that we can go through there. Okay, we're gonna have to do something different. I'm not gonna go for Colonia because I can't win that war. It's impossible to win that war. So, we're going to go and trade Taron back. This is one of our other things that we have got available to us. Let's go reclaim Taron. We can't get Odessa just yet, but we can at least take Taron. Oh, you flipping flips. Gutted. Gutted. Colonia, you do not realise how close you came to being wiped out then. And I have a feeling that the Emperor is going to take that away from us as well. One of our children comes of age very soon. And we still have to send our children out. Um, to this guy. Which is a big shame. Um, to be educated. But what we can do is, once they are educated, in fact, we can then ask them to change uh, their religion back over so like Shushan is Jewish still everybody is still Jewish which is great okay so yeah so if we went to Odessa say they can bring up their army all of a sudden now they've got this massive crazy ass army so Taron have got a lot less people available to them so that's what we'll do. We'll aim our army to go into Odessa. And if we head into Odessa from Calate, we get caught out. So uh, what way do we have to come in? So we can't come in from anything from the north. So let's get our guys to walk right through. Going from Bilak, aren't we? I think. Yes, we can go in from Bilar. So we'll come in this way. We'll head back into Odessa. That's where their vast majority of their army is. A thousand men there. Um, and hopefully when we declare war on Taron, we'll aim into there. Uh, they'll raise their army up, but we will have a much easier chance of taking them. Because um, they should raise with lowered morale. That's the that's the plan. I'm so gutted about this Colonia, but at least we're taping it, and at least it's gone in the same vein as last time. The only difference is, is I've not been killed off this time, because <laughs> literally right the way through they had two people, two people, two people, two people, and then all of a sudden they had no one. Yeah, there's the Taron army out there. Has he got loads of money? He's got he's got a bit of money, not loads. Okay, so now we'll do the exact same. This time we're heading to Odessa, so we'll get there on the 5th of April. Keep an eye on that just to make sure. We'll claim for Taron. And uh, hopefully, this time it'll all go well with a much, much stronger um, emperor and rule behind us. So 5th of April is what we've got to check out for. It's still the 5th there. Okay. 
so we can celebrate Passover yet, but we don't want to. What we do, what I do, is actually came Taron. Now you might be asking why, if we're going for Taron, why we're we going to Odessa? Simply because the same guy owns the two things. He has got no allies whatsoever, so officially he shouldn't be able to bring anybody into this war. He's only eight years old, so he ain't marrying anybody off into this war either. Now, when we go to Odessa, we're going in there because they've got the most troops. Uh, and hopefully we should just have enough to take them out. They have got another army up there, so when they bring out their troops, we should we should be able to take them. Let's see. We'll be there within the day. Let's just see if this works. We have to do something, don't we? Declared war. And in we go. So we should be able to take these guys out. See, uh, we might have been a bit too quick going in. Damn it. They needed to raise their army out at least. But we should be able to take that and then turn straight back and come back for them before they can um, do anything. So, Taron, got 25 men there. And these should raise the rest of their army. Hopefully, we can just take enough of them before them. There it is. So that's actually worked out pretty well at this point. That's worked out pretty well at this point. If we can catch that army, take them down with the manpower that we've got, we should do because their morale is so low. Then hopefully we'll have enough men left to do the rest of the bidding. So in this instance, we'll bring up our army and get them into Taron. Come on, this should work now. Yes, we've easily destroyed theirs. We've easily destroyed their men, and that's because they had such low morale. They are going off now to Taron again, so we'll aim after them. Our secondary arm is coming up from behind. It's already 59% to us. We've, catched, uh, we've caught one, well, but the army came in didn't it but we've been able to take them out now and we should reclaim Taron I had no idea that that's what was going to happen I just thought that uh, in the last let's play uh, in the last episode well in the episode that I didn't tape um, I thought we were going to go back for Colonia see how things just mess around see how things or well, what things occur now what I do want to happen right now so Ah, uh, here we go. Let's put him for me. But the Emperor will call it in soon enough. It's 66% in favour of us right now. We could and should really... There you go. He's asked for them. Yes, we'll accept that. What we should do is split the units off. So that should just be the Bulgarian band with his full manpower. Um, do we need both lots? Ah, let's just shift him back over there. Get this guy to just go and sit in. So basically when they... They shouldn't even be able to raise levies up. And if they do, we've got some men there to, uh, to deal with it. So let's just speed this up. Benevito been captured which must mean that that war is over I don't know what all that was going to say but so we're very close now for Taron and it was only a matter of time wasn't it but look how fast we took Taron back when we had a little bit of a oomph behind us and in fact taking a Taron should be enough in fact once we've taken the castle we'll move these guys out to Odessa we don't want to completely cripple Taron at all, because obviously that's going to be our zone. Yeah, so we won't completely cripple Taron. We'll keep the uh, the finances in there, and hopefully these guys will be happy that we've come back. So let's get my army. I'm going to take out this 120-odd man army. Dealt with well. They can run off, that's fine. 90% now for us. It's 
he's not happy to uh, give over Taron yet. And I know how he feels. Pause. Yeah, you see, we've actually got enough attackers here to take down the city. And that is not what we want at all. It will mean that the war will finish quicker. But we actually don't want Taron to fall. I don't want Taron to fall completely. Because, like I said, we're going to occupy Taron very, very soon. So I don't mind a Dessa falling, that's absolutely fine, but not Taron. And now now we've lost men, men, so that means now that we can't. See this little uh, sort of like icon that's on? I don't actually know what the icon is, I can't work it out. But it basically means that we are not sieging the castle or, or the area anymore. Which is fine, as you can see it's not, the icon is not on, the little red icon there is not on this castle, which means we are sieging there. And that's exactly what we want. We're down to 61 gold, so I really could do with this guy giving us a, giving us a claim here in Odessa. But what Taron will bring us is an opportunity to take these areas as well, Karin and Kaliate. Because they're part of the Duchy of Mesopotamia. Okay, and part of that duchy will mean that, um, being part of that duchy will mean that it's easier to go after these areas later on. Um, Colonia is its own duchy and we, oh, he's incapable. Oh, this is big news. This is actually quite big news. We're not going to have the manpower to take it, but hopefully... He wants to give peace off. We don't want to give him peace. We want to take these areas because we want as much money as we can get. They can't take that back. See, so if I were to assault that, I it'd give me. I'd need about five thousand men. So every every month, it's going down by about twenty percent, and it hopefully will be worth taking all of Odessa. Especially if we can get a claim on it later, then we can just whiz in. Yes, no longer stressed. So this is going very nicely. Taron's going to be ours again. This king, or the Marwan the Old, is about to lose his position of being incapable. And it'd be interesting then to see who's left up there. We'll have to wait for our wealth to come back up. Okay. So 19 gold. It's well worth the wait. And the last area, the bishopric, should fall quite quickly. Of Beal. Okay, looking over here, wow, they really lost out there, didn't they? So even further now, Abbasid have increased their power. We need some real revolts going on down there for uh, for us to have a, a proper say in this area. But they've just come in and just rinsed that, so what are these actually fighting for? What's this war actually for then that these are involved in? Is it for the rest of Armenia? I can't believe they've lost that. That's mad. A few court arrivers. I think my phone's going to go off in a minute. Let's put it on silent just in case. But we're on 18 minutes over there. Dun, dun, dun. 11, yeah, more people arriving at the court all the time. And they must be fleeing from... They must be fleeing from Anai and Laurie and that sort of section. But these guys are getting seriously big. The Abbasid are getting seriously, seriously big. And we are right on the front line. We are right smack on the front line there. That could be quite dangerous, actually. We might get Taran and lose it again straight away. The good thing is, is it's actually part of Mesopotamia. That does sit inside the uh, Byzantine de jure. So their, uh, 
They're gathering some momentum overall. Hopefully it'll be enough. And there you go. So we have completely taken Odessa. We've increased our payity up as well. Um, and we will bring this one to an end. So let's get our men out of there. Click on that. Off a piece. And of course they'll accept. Boom. We are back. The holders. So we are back now to being holders um, of Taron. And I'm glad for it. And we've also uh, just made Odessa a bit isolated, a bit more isolated. So hopefully when we do take that, it'll be great. And that whoever does want to come in here to take it should be to steamroller in. So we're going to lose a title on Succession. Which, this is because of Gevelkind now, of course. Uh, we have two in demands, so we've got this county and this county. Let's just get our men down. What's going on with Colonia? He's still there. It'll be worthwhile to just hold them out because he might die at any moment. Can we kill him? Can we actually kill him off? 98%. We just need one person that'll be interested in assisting and we've got one. So we might actually be able to kill this guy off. What's the best way to enter this area? So as long as it's not Kalit or Melitian. So we're in Melitian now. So we can come in from Karen. We're coming from our own area. Give him something to do. <coughs> so back onto Intrigue a moment. Let's add in anybody that's interested. And we might be, as I said, we might actually be able to kill this guy off. And when his successor comes in, um, that might very well mean that they don't have all of those um, all of those allies. It might still do, but hopefully it won't. Because look, it's in-laws. It's all in-laws. And they're not as strong now as what they were before. So yeah, it's a real chance. Now then, one thing you might notice here, there's a title loss on succession. And that's because we've got two children. And this is the problem with Gabblekind. So hopefully we should live long enough to see our fifth year in charge. Um, and then we can bring in one of these succession situations. Um, 882. No, why can't we do that then? What's stopping us? No, vassals have a negative opinion. Alright, so what we need to do now then is see who our vassals are. And we've got a couple of them that don't particularly like us. So if we can get these guys to like us, he's not going to while we've got that situation going on. Then we'll hopefully we can change to a better succession. He's not a uh, Jewish, let's see if he'll change, he will. Fantastic. So, where were the two that didn't like us then? Where are they kept? They're both in uh, in Chow. It's interesting. Oh, not in Chow, uh, in Theo. Okay, so that's the next thing that we need to uh, work on then. There's no point offering that other guy money at the moment. Because it won't change him by enough. In the Bishopric of Black. Although we do need him really working on our side, don't we? So. Now one. We just need to stay alive now for a bit. <laughs> I strongly influenced me and have decided to convert to that one. But who are you though?
Oh, is he just another random? Ah, oh, it's just another random. No problem. So we've got another daughter here that needs educating. And I'll do that myself before the the guy comes in and sweeps it away. 1,400 men. He just needs to die, this guy. He's incapable, so this is one of the worst things you can get. Basically, you need a regent to, um, to do everything for you, basically. The entire thing is made much more difficult. Um, so he's going to die anytime soon. And while he's uh, sort of in the process of that dying... That's why I'm kind of waiting. Because we're only going down by 3.5 gold a month. I don't really want to get rid of my men just yet. Um, but we seriously need him to be gone. To find out who's going to be the next pain in the ass for us. <laughs> and hopefully he'll stick with no allies. And if he's got no allies, we can go straight in. Because they've not got that many men themselves. Only 800 So with my 1,400 man, that might actually be much, much better in our side. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to have to leave it. Just notice the time, 25 minute mark. I'll come straight back and do the next one immediately so we'll have no breaks. Um, so I'll see you in a moment or so, but you probably won't notice me be going that long. I don't know. I don't know if that was the right way around. So we've still got to appease our... Our guy, does he like us anymore? He doesn't actually not like us too much, so that's that's not too bad. Okay, so let's put that on pause. It's the 18th of January, 897. Um, I will see you next episode. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye.